Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from thetarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing a weekly love tarot card reading from the 18th to the 24th of April 2021. If you are new to my channel, welcome. In this tarot card reading, I'm going to be looking at your energy and your person's energy. I'm also going to be exploring some of the issues that both you and this individual could potentially be dealing with. In the extended, I'm going to be finding solutions as well as providing you guys with further insight. So let's get one card for your energy and one card for your person's energy. Very first card is for your energy. We have impasse, reflect and redirect your energy. The second card we have for your person is choosing your path. All is possible. So I feel like you are at a place right now where, you know, you might feel like you are being challenged by a certain obstacle or, you know, some sort of difficulty between both you and this individual concerned. Your person, on the other hand, is trying to choose their path. They're dealing with a choice right now and they're trying to figure out a way going forward. So let's get some tarot. What's going on between Aquarius and their person from the 18th to the 24th of April? 2021. Okay. I see for some of you, you are waiting. You're waiting for something, perhaps for this individual to get in touch with you or to communicate with you. There's an indication here of you feeling alone, neglected, lost a little bit. Some of you are feeling as if your voice is not being heard. I feel like you've given this person a lot of time. I feel like there's an energy here which is indicating that uh, you've struggled in this connection with this person. And during this particular week, I feel like some of you are going to feel as if you've hit a roadblock when it comes to this connection. Now, I'm noticing here that you've been trying to be as moderate as possible. You've been trying to be as um, loving and patient as possible with this individual. You might have been waiting for them to get back in touch with you to, uh, you know, figure things out when it comes to this connection. I'm definitely picking up those energies from you. Now... What is connecting the two of you? We have the Tower and we have the Ten of Pentacles. So those two particular cards are indicating that, you know, something fell apart between both you and this individual concern. It could be that both you and this person were married or the two of you were planning to get married. The two of you might have been in a relationship with each other, not married, but uh, living together. Whatever your structure of connection was, we have the energy of, um, you know, uh, it falling apart. So I feel like something caused the collapse of your relationship with this individual. It might have been very devastating. I feel like you're waiting. Your person, on the other hand, is uh, displaying characteristics of someone that is experiencing grief and sleepless nights. There's also this unknown element, right? I feel like your person has an important choice to make. And these uh, cards here are indicating to me that it makes them upset, right? I'm definitely picking up mood swings from your person. There's an imbalance of emotions. I feel like it swings high and then it swings low. And um, there's a sense of this person not being able to get in control of their feelings and emotions just because of how upsetting the situation is for them. It has upset them. As um, lonely and sad as you feel, this person is also feeling miserable. So don't feel bad about your situation. Don't think that you're the only one suffering. You know, when a person actually feels a sense of sadness and remorse towards a connection falling apart, it means that there was something real there at one point in time, okay? There was something that was uh, important. People don't mourn things unless they truly value it. So know that about your person, okay? So let's get some clarification. Your 
the person's love for you is something that is, you know, it has deep roots. That's the combination that I am picking up there in terms of figuring out how to say it. You know, there's this old sort of tree you get. You get a lot of trees that are very, very old, but some are like a thousand years old, etc. And what I'm picking up with those energies is that this love that this person feels for you is as old as time. It's as old as time. And it's quite majestic if you really think about it. So I feel like your person is clearly upset with how things played out and they themselves are trying to figure out a way going forward. That's why this situation has deeply affected them to the point that it has. I feel like there's a lot of confusion here between both you and this individual. I feel like you don't know if you should step up. They don't know if they should step up. Both you and this individual are in the dark when it comes to, um, you know, providing for each other. It's like that type of conversation that happens where one person asks the other person, what do you need? And the other person asks, well, what do you need? Without even answering. That's what I'm picking up from this connection between the both of you. And it feels really romantic even though right now it's you know um it's in a very complicated place what i'm seeing from spirit is that um you know, even though you are at an impasse, there's an indication here of which if you can balance your energy, if you can figure out a way in which you pull the yin and the yang together in terms of your own soul, you can have success here. So I feel like Spirit is saying pull it together. I feel like it's a very heavy message here from Spirit right now. Get your act together when it comes to this situation. Don't take the role of the victim. You're not... The victim nor is your person the both of you have hit a snag and both of you can overcome it so let's see what are the issues here Yeah, there's a lot of hidden aspects, right? Someone is afraid of love in this situation and one person is really struggling to open up. It feels as if there's also, you know, this element of emotional baggages that have been carried along the way. But what I find with this uh, combination of cards is that the two of you have a very deep love for each other. There's a very deep connection here. If this is resonating, of course, you know, then this is going to be your reading but someone that is uh, in this situation is so afraid of being loved. Some of you can have been dealing with this for a long time. There's a lot of hidden elements here. There's a need for liberation from something. Someone has to liberate something in this situation, right? Liberation is a very powerful word. To liberate is to free oneself. And um, the question is, what are you trying to free yourself from? And what are they trying to free themselves from? The thing is, your person has an important choice to make during this particular period of time, and it could affect your connection in, you know, a very big way, but in what way and in what shape and form. So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies in an extended reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care.